All right, here we're going to talk about period and frequency and how they differ. So period tells me the time for one rotation. So how long does it take to go around one time? Frequency tells me how many times did it rotate in a given amount of time. So we typically use period for slow rotating things, something that maybe takes longer than a second to make one rotation. And we'll typically use frequency for fast rotating things, things that rotate multiple times in a second. So I do have a relationship. They are the inverse of one another, just because you can see time per revolution, revolution per time, they are the inverse of one another. So the example we're going to look at is, what is the frequency of the second hand on a clock? So the second hand on a clock has a period of, how long does it take to go around one time? Well, one minute or 60 seconds. And so my frequency then, is going to be 1 over 60. Okay. That would be my frequency. Now, what are the units we're going to use here? Because it's 1 divided by seconds. So instead of saying like second inverse, which is sometimes used, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use Hertz. Okay. Just like the car company spelled, this is how Hertz is spelled as well. So Hertz is abbreviated HZ. So the frequency is going to be 1 60th of a Hertz. Now, Frequency tells me something in per seconds, but you can also talk about it as revolutions per minute, also seen as RPM. So frequency might be seen in revolutions per minute. If you want to convert it to hertz, you're going to have to change that minutes to seconds. Now, the other one that's kind of interesting is because frequency is measured in revolutions per minute, that also tells us about how fast something's rotating. How fast something's rotating, that's talking about the angular speed. So if I want to get between angular speed, omega, which is in radians per second, and frequency, which is in revolutions per second, these two quantities are really telling me about the same thing with just different units. And so we're able to say then, that if I want to get between the two, to get from revolutions to radians, i got to get rid of revolutions and go to radians. So I'm going to be multiplying my frequency by 2 pi to get it to omega. So omega is equal to 2 pi times the frequency. And really, all we're doing there with that equation is just converting units.